What's up everybody, I'm Pete. I'm Joey. And we're the Backpacker Brothers. And today we're gonna to be giving you a short introduction to backpacking food. So like everything with backpacking, there are different ways of doing things, different philosophies, but what we're going to really be talking about here is what we have found to work the best for us over lots of trial and error and a number of years of doing this. We think that this is going to be the best thing for you to just sort of get out there and have a good experience without having to experiment too much. So the main three things that you want to consider with your food is you want it to be high calorie, you want it to taste good and you want it to be low weight. So typical camping food you might think of, like baked beans right here, this is gonna fail with the weight, it's gonna fail with the calories, so that's not something you wanna be taking with you on the trail. And then the fourth thing that we'd wanna to mention too is it's always good to pay a little bit of attention to the nutrients that you're gonna get in there, so look for a little bit of variety. Um, it's gonna be easy to get high carbs, and then it's gonna be almost as easy to get high protein. And then the other thing you're gonna to wanna to get a bit of is fiber, so things like dried fruit and any type of dried vegetables that might be in some of your meals. So what we're gonna do is we could spend a half an hour going through every kind of backpacking food that people use, but we think the best way to do it is just to go through meal by meal on a typical backpacking trip, let's say three days for Joe and I up on the Superior Hiking Trail. What do we bring meal by meal and what do we eat? Alright, so the first meal of the day is breakfast. So, you know, you woke up in your tent or your hammock, maybe you slept well, maybe you didn't. You know, you're going to want something to kind of pick you up, something enjoyable, and something that's going to fuel you uh, to pack up and get right back on the trail um, as soon as you're ready to go. The best way that I like to start the morning is with a nice cup of coffee. Uh, I drink coffee in everyday life. Uh, maybe you drink tea, it's another option you can bring with you. Um, I like to bring instant coffee. It's really the easiest way to get a cup of coffee out there without having to bring, you know, some elaborate extra gear um, to actually like do a pour over with real coffee or something. Uh, Pete has tried that in the past, yeah. and it's it just doesn't really work too well. It's, just it's not worth it. it. It's just yeah, it's it's just kind of a pain to do. Um, my favorite one uh, right now is uh, Starbucks. And then in terms of meals, it's kind of two different ways you can do it here. Um, one of our favorite meals is this breakfast skillet from Mountain House. These meals, you're going to see these throughout as we talk about our meals. Um, and, you know, the reason why is because they're just, they're simple, they're off the shelf, uh, they require no cleanup because you actually can just eat right out of this bag and they taste good. If you're looking for something quicker, you can also do something like just uh, some granola. Um, you'll see we really like this brand Kind because it's got a lot of good uh, nutritious grains in it, but it usually tastes really good too. And over on this side we've got another meal, um, one of my favorites, biscuits and gravy. And you can see this is the same as the meal uh, that show Joe showed you over there. The only difference is this is a two serving meal. So it's great, you can buy a single serving or a two serving. And I myself, a lot of times, um, I can eat a two serving meal. Joe sometimes does and sometimes he doesn't. So it's good to have the single serve and the double serve as well. Another standard is, of course, oatmeal. Always a solid thing to have. Um, I personally like to buy these packs that you can bring out on the trail with you, really simple. You just tear off the top and just add water. It doesn't make that big of a mess. And then if we're really looking to get up early, you know, and hit the trail quickly, as Joe mentioned, the granola over there is a good option, but also a really good option is just a standard granola bar. And one of our favorites is the Kind bar here. Again, a little bit more healthy, um, and there's a little bit more calories in it than a standard granola bar that you might pick up at the store. Okay, so the second meal of the day is lunch. Now, the way we do lunch is a little bit different than some people like to. So you might be somebody who you want to actually stop and cook yourself a meal the way that we sometimes do in the morning or at night. You know, getting out the cook kit, boiling water, making one of those freeze dried meals. We find that to be a little bit too much of a hassle and we just don't feel like doing it. Instead what we like to do is pack a number of different snacks and then just sort of uh, munch on those throughout the day. 
uh, whether it's while we're hiking sometimes or when we're taking different five or ten minute breaks. So um, we usually will uh, put some of those in our hip pockets on our packs. Um, it's a really easy way where sometimes you don't even have to take the pack off. But you know, you're gonna be stopping every now and then anyways just for a breather uh, or to enjoy nice views. So we're gonna talk about some of the snacks that we like to bring and why we like to bring those. So um, kind of tagging along with breakfast, the Kind Bar, again a granola bar, always a solid option, normally fits in the hip pocket, so that's a great one that we like to bring. Um, Pop-Tarts, again, you can probably fit them in somewhere, maybe not in your hip pocket, but this is something we normally wouldn't eat in our day-to-day -day lives, but when you're out on the trail and you need calories, you can pound some Pop-Tarts. And I'd say my all-time personal favorite is the Snickers bar. Any candy bar that's your favorite, but the Snickers bar is packed with calories. It's got nuts in there. It's a solid trail food, so I probably eat, you know, two of these a day, you know, one in each hip pocket, and I don't shy away from it, so definitely the Snickers bar highly recommended. Something a little unique maybe that I eat is um, dried edamame. So these don't necessarily taste the best. They have a little salt on them, but I eat these just so I get a little fiber in my diet throughout the day because if you're eating a bunch of candy and a bunch of meat and jerky and freeze dried meals, you wanna to try to get a little nutrition and maybe try to get some form of a vegetable out on the trail. And then in the middle here, we have the classic trail mix. And Joe and I normally opt for a trail mix that Maybe has some dried fruit in it, but definitely has those M&Ms in there. Again, we're not shying away from those calories. Trail mix, really solid food, easy to get in a little Ziploc bags and put it into your hip pockets. So I also have to make a quick shout out to the Snickers bar. Uh, we were in Yosemite and uh, we actually uh, have a video of that. If you haven't seen that, definitely go down below and check that out. It was an incredible trip. Mm. Highly recommend going there. We were climbing up to the top of Clouds Rest. It's a mountain in Yosemite and uh, it was a really arduous hike, it was hot, uh, you know, several thousand feet vertical gain and, uh, you know, pretty close to getting to the top. I almost bonked out, we were pretty, pretty exhausted, but, you know, I, I took a moment, I laid down on the ground and I ate a Snickers bar and, you know, it gave me what I needed. I got to the top of that mountain and, and it was totally worth it. So taking a look over here at some of the other options we like to bring with us. Um, so I'll start with this. Uh, you can buy these little tuna packs. They're sort of these single serve packages. Um, you know, tuna fish, very nutritious. Um, they make these in different sort of flavors. This one is lemon pepper. Um, you know, lots of protein. Fish is, of course, good for you, and it's kind of a good way to get something out on the trail that tastes a little more like sort of normal everyday food that you might eat. Along those same lines of protein, uh, both Pete and I always make sure to bring jerky. It's, it's again, great protein source, good amount of calories, and it tastes great. Again, with protein, I always like to bring some protein bars. Um, I like these ones because they taste actually pretty good. Usually protein bars don't taste that great, but these are decent. And you know, I'm just somebody who personally, uh, for my diet and my personal fitness goals, uh, I tend to eat a little more protein than people typically might. So this is a great way to get some protein out there. And then of course, uh, I'm also gonna reiterate the importance of having some fiber out there. So uh, getting some dried fruit is a great way to get some of that fiber and it tastes really good. And again, you know, being a dried fruit type option, there's, there's no moisture in there or there's very little, so it's gonna be lighter weight as well. Um, another food option that we like for snacks that we actually don't have with us here today are things like cheese, like string cheeses are easy in those single serve packets, or even some people bring out things like summer sausage. And you might be a little worried about doing that because those are things you might normally think you keep in the fridge, but over a couple days, you know, even if you're out there three or four days, things like that are going to keep. So if you want a little bit more flavor, cheese, meats, things like that, you can definitely bring those out on the trail as well. All right, so you made it to the end of the day. It's dinner time, you're in camp, you're all set up, and you really want a great meal at the end of the day. It's really satisfying. So again, these dehydrated meals are solid options. So, you know, we have been showing you guys a variety of a, a few different examples of these dehydrated meals throughout. Um, you know, there are a ton of different options out there depending on what you like and don't like, uh, different brands as well. And so, uh, we will link below to some of our all-time favorite options out there and, um, you know, why we like those.
Maybe the only negative to these meals is that sometimes if you're eating a lot of these, they can get a little expensive. So there are cheaper options out there that you can find at your normal stores. Um, so ones that we like are versions of these pasta sides. Um, ramen is also great. And something that we also like to add to our meals sometimes if you're really hungry, um, some freeze dried potatoes are a great side. Sometimes you can bring butter out on the trail and this can be a really great option just add to your meal at the end of the day. Something that we really love, um, both Joe and I, is hot apple cider. So sometimes people will bring hot cocoa out on the trail, but we started um, trying out this cider and it is so good. Um, it's just a great way to end the day. So a lot of times we'll have this like kind of like late at night after it gets dark, after you've eaten. It's super sweet. It's packed with sugar, but out on the trail again, that's something that your body needs. So we really, really enjoy this. It's getting a little cold out at the end of the night and you just wrap your hands around that mug and have some hot apple cider. So of course, after your meal, sometimes it's really nice to uh, have a little dessert out there as well. So um, again, with these uh, dehydrated meals, there are options out there. Um, they actually taste pretty good. We have yeah. tried a couple of them. Um, you know, again, uh, like Pete said, you know, something like a Snickers bar, maybe Pop-Tarts, uh, that could be good too, but it's really enjoyable uh, to have something warm because, you know, when those temperatures start to drop a little bit, you know, you ha having the hot apple cider and a hot dessert is pretty awesome. Uh, something that we both do, um, I maybe do it a little more than Pete, uh, but we both have before, is something called dry baking. Um, so we'll follow up uh, at some point here with a video that's dedicated to dry baking, sort of a how-to. Uh, but basically, um, it's a really, really easy, simple way to bake something fresh right there out on the trail with almost no additional gear needed. And uh, the way we like to do it usually is just getting this uh, simple just add water um, mix. Definitely recommend trying out dry baking. And again, uh, we'll be following up with a how-to on that. Okay, everybody, that's it. That's our introduction to backpacking food. And we just want to reiterate that there are many ways to go about doing this. Lots of different philosophies and methods when it comes to backpacking food. But this is really the way we do it. And we feel like this is the best way for you, possibly as a beginner, to get out on the trail, have a great experience, not have to worry too much, and just have solid meals that are easy to make when you're out there. So we'd like to ask you, what are some of your favorite foods when you're out on the trail? And do you maybe have some that you think are maybe a little bit unique or special? So for us, probably one of ours that's a little bit unique is this hot apple cider that we just love that at the end of the day as it starts getting dark and it's cold out, we love to have that hot apple cider. So if you have any recommendations, please share them with us. So if you like what you see here, if you enjoyed this, uh, if you found any of this useful, uh, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you. We have a lot of things planned, different follow-up videos like this about gear and how-tos and also some really cool trips on the horizon. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Joey. I'm Pete. We're the Backpacker Brothers. Hike on.